If you know you're going to be spending a lot of time in a room, you're probably going to give a lot of thought to how you decorate. Throughout the Lincoln home, we see paintings and wallpaper giving us an idea of what the Lincolns may have looked at while living in their home. But unfortunately, things like pictures and art get lost in time, while other items like wallpaper tear and fade away. We don't exactly know what all the wallpaper looked like throughout the home, except for the Lincoln master bedroom suite. Amazingly, the wallpaper that was inside Abraham Lincoln's bedroom has stood the test of time and still exists to this day. It gives us a chance to have an intimate look into the otherwise private lives of Abraham and Mary Lincoln. Today, however, this wallpaper isn't the original. To see it, we need to go behind the scenes and leave the Lincoln home to take an exciting look at the original wallpaper that hung inside Abraham Lincoln's bedroom. What many people don't realize is that national parks house many items of historical significance that belong to that park on site. Many of these items are put on display in visitor centers or sent out on loan to other visitor centers and museums. Lincoln Home is no different where we house many historical items that not only pertain to the time of Abraham Lincoln but to Abraham Lincoln himself. I'm meeting with the park's chief curator, Susan Hake, for an exclusive look at the original wallpaper that once hung inside Abraham Lincoln's bedroom. Susan, thank you so much for taking the time to show us this excellent piece of Abraham Lincoln's history. Sure. Yeah, glad to do it. <laughs> All right, well, let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. All right. Grab number four. Number four down here. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Come over here, take a look at this. And there it is. This is the original wallpaper that Abraham Lincoln looked at day after day in his bedroom. Susan informs me that while the wallpaper was made in France, Mary purchased it out of a catalog in downtown Springfield. The exact name of this design has been lost to time. However, today it is simply known as the Abraham Lincoln bedroom design. The fact that this came all the way from France to Springfield shows us that Mary truly appreciated some of the finer things in life. The unique combination of colors gave the look of a sort of royal elegance to the room. All right, so Susan, the use of blue color in here was still considered quite fancy at the time, right? It was to some extent. Um, blue chemical dyes that were used on this wallpaper were a little bit less expensive than the original organic that was made out of a blue indigo powder, which is very expensive. So how long have we had the wallpaper here in storage? When was it taken down? It was taken down during the 1987-88 restoration in the Lincoln home. Um, so we've had it since about 1988. It goes out periodically for exhibits. Um, we've loaned it to a couple museums that were doing things on Lincoln. I learned from Susan that when the home opened up to tours in 1887, the upstairs bedrooms were still a private residence where the caretakers lived and visitors never saw the Lincoln bedroom. Unfortunately, by 1920, much of the original wallpaper was beginning to fall off and deteriorate. The state worked to protect the resource and preserve the little bit that still existed by using early preservation methods, such as formaldehyde, to keep it from deteriorating further. Unfortunately, these early methods of preservation may have done more bad than good, as the wallpaper suffered from the use of formaldehyde. When tours started going upstairs to the bedroom in 1955, the remaining portions of the original wallpaper were kept visible through large panels of glass and later plexiglass. The original wallpaper was kept like this until the major renovation of the home in 1987. So Susan, up until the late 1980s, people were still able to see this original wallpaper in the Lincoln bedroom during a tour. Why was it taken down and not just left up the way it was for people to still see today? The reason, the main reason that this was, this was taken down was because it was getting so fragile on the wall that it wasn't really going to be able to stay up there. Um, it was starting to crumble, deteriorate. So conservators came in, peeled it very, very carefully off the walls and uh, did some treatments to it to kind of clean it a little bit, stabilize it, and then put it into those large storage folders like you saw. Well, Susan, thank you so much for taking the time to show us what is probably one of the most important pieces in the Lincoln Home Collection. Thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. Anytime. See you later. The wallpaper in the Lincoln Master Bedroom Suites is one of the biggest yet sometimes overlooked pieces in the Lincoln Home Collection. It gives us a rare, intimate look into an otherwise private life of Abraham and Mary Lincoln. One can't help but feel a little bit taken back 
by the sheer awe of being around the actual items that Abraham and Mary Lincoln not only saw and touched, but treasured as well. I'm Ranger Paul, and we'll see you next time.